The detector seems to suggest we may have more than one signal here. The pinpointer has picked up something very close to the ground. Um, today I have the apprentice with. You sure do. You sure, I sure do. So we've also got a, a nice little digging tool. Where so where's the apprentice? There. Okay, so let's see. We've already made one or two plugs with this. We're 20 cents up already and a few bits of tat and scat. Yeah. But let's see our tiny little, look at that for a little plug. Can you see that for yeah. a little? And there it lies. Sure yes, it's I think cents. it's a five it's, uh, cents. Five cents. Yes. Um, you can see the thing there. I don't know. It's, it's crusty. We yes. won't worry about it because that is only good for the bin. Yes, it sure is. Okay, we'll close the uh, tiny little plug and we'll carry on regardless. Right, next up in that hole there, we dug it with a small little tool again. A crusty, rusty. Oh, bugger. A 2P, Irish 2P metal core, iron core, that's why it looks like that. And so show the soul. So, we have been digging in that for the past four minutes. And then there's a hole too, as you can see. And what it turned to be out is that thing right there. Where? That uh, all of us touching it. It is ding 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 a thumbnail or a thumbtack, whatever you want to call it. Or anyway, could it be a very old earring? I don't know, Ropa. We shall find out when we go home, or possibly even sooner. No, it's a thumbtack. Look at the sharp little point there. Okay. Can so, you see? Yes. So we have found the thumbtack in that. This donut that we created yes there we uh, go well at least the bugs can have something tasty easy to eat found something else and where my hand is that is a hole well it's smaller than the last donut bug but that's what we found it is a clothes brand uh tag or whatever it is over can you go into details no i don't want to advertise for these people you can see it there already. Okay, that's competition in town. Now I'm gonna have to up my game rapidly. Yes, look at that. There we are. Two of them. We're taking over the world, aren't we? <laughs> Definitely. Right, so Opa has picked up a signal. And Opa thinks he knows what it is, and he's leaving. Opa, uh, he might have been wrong. What you think you said. Oh, just... you were wrong with what you think. Ah. Turn it around so we can see what it is. It's a decimal. No, yes, it is a decimal. It's a 5P. That's why it rings like a a pull tab. I thought it was a pull tab the way it was ringing, but it's a, the decimal new smaller 5P there. I'll show you in the sunlight. And that's why because it's a cupro nickel i think that's why it rings like a pull tap. The next plug we suspected another well it was another 23 24 signal so we thought 5p again question mark question mark but what is it it's a pool tab well half of a pool tab is maximal uh, right we're asking that question again is it a pull tab or is it a coin it's not no that's a stone Careful fingers. Oh, is that a thing? There's a big lump of something there. There we go. You were contacting. Did you flick it there? Okay. Here. Careful fingers. Okay. I thought I saw it in there. Here it is, and it is of uh, what you thought it was, a Pultabus Maximus Eratatus. We're doing a live dig here, because I have a feeling. You sure do. Yes, I have a... And What's it's... that? 
What's that? That's our first I meal. I told you we should search this today. Yes, you did. Fantastic. That rang. Well, that actually rang silver numbers. That Look might be a silver ring. That. that could potentially be. We can see. Let's push the mud out. Uh, push it's it through from one side. It's quite hard because it's... it's an, looks like an owl ring. There we go. We've got our first ring. I've broken the... The, and it's fully intact, look. Yes. Okay, so inside you might see numbering. Um. Okay, I see something. There's something on the inside, yeah. Yes, I see. We so found just, our first ring. We did. And I think, uh, uh, this is not wishful thinking, but I'm sure this says 9 to 5. No way. Hold still. Hold there still. You're not I'm holding shaking still. with excitement. I know. Shh. We mustn't tell the world. I'm sure that says 9 to 5. We'll, I've got a toothbrush in my bag. We'll clean it up and we'll come back straight back to you. Right, so and I'm using the toothbrush right now. To think that toothbrush at some point in time cleaned my little tats. Right, see if you can see if we can now focus on the the lettering on the inside and those numbers. numbers on the inside. Okay, hold it still. Hold still. And try and hold those numbers in the sun. No. Like stop or off. Like that. Like like that. Hold still. I'm shaking. Hold still. The letdown. After the Ring. we have the Hultalis Maximus Irritatus. This time uh, not as mucky. So it's better than a mucky pool tab, so eh, it's still going in the scat sack though. Well scat bucket. But onwards we back, back. and we have found uh, well we just did a hole and in Ropa's hand you can see a pool tab. Well, it's a just, beaver tail. But anyway, here we have a beaver tail. Onwards we lash. So we have found something. Ropa said it has zero mineralization. I don't know what the numbers are. I didn't look. 90s. 90s. Coin, coin type. Uh, copper, brass coin type numbers. It don't has rust. Oh uh, no, then it is another. Crusty. Crud. Okay, we take that out there. Yeah, two cent piece. The birds are a flapping. The birds are a flying. The swan is a swanning. Okay, the swan is a swanning. And you are terrible at running. Yep. <laughs> the swan, what? What do you say? You are terrible at rhyming. I'm terrible at rhyming. The swan <laughs> is a joking. swanning. But. It's me saying you're a terrible rhymer. Yes, I'll skip. The birds, they are a flying. <laughs> There you have it, an altogether fun day. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, sharing, doing all those nice things that the apprentice usually asks you to do. Um, as per usual, stay safe, stay free and be happy. And I'll add this, the next few pieces on as the addendum. The apprentice becoming a member of the Red Cap Gang. Bye. So we kept going, we found a few more bits and pieces, but now as a final, final ABFF before we go home. Uh, uh, fans, well, we found something. <laughs> red cap. A red cap. Not quite part of that other red cap of the sponsors, but at least it is a red cap. Me part of red cap, gang. Let's go. The apprentice is dancing because he has now officially become a member of the... Red that, cap thingy. The red cap thingy. The sponsor better come and give him some help as well. There we go. Red cap boy. Yeah.